Hello citizens and welcome back to yet another video guide and tutorial. This time it's not about how to earn 18 billions in 18 minutes, okay? It's about gun scopes that you cannot buy in game and you actually need to loot them if you want to use them. Okay, so this is the scope that I usually use in Star Citizen. It has no magnification and it is a clean sight with only a dot in the middle. You can purchase this scope in almost every gun store. But I want to show you my new favorite scope that I will use in my FPS combat situations from now on. So with all that said, today I'm gonna show you how and where to acquire this rounded RF1 reflex gun sight or scope. You cannot buy them in any gun store in game and you can only acquire them while playing a certain mercenary missions. I'm not gonna waste your time with any intros, so let's jump straight to the gameplay. First thing to know is that you need to do this mercenary mission on Arcorp, Hurston or Microtech. Crusader guards don't use this scope on their guns so you won't be able to find them on Crusader. For this first mission example, I'm gonna be on Arcorp so I suggest you to fly to the Arcorp space station and go to a medical clinic where you want to make a resurrect point just in case you die on the mission. So, you need to play mercenary missions like Protect Site, because you need to have security guards and not only the Ninetales which you need to kill. The key is that you need to let the Ninetales to kill Arcorp, Hurston or Microtech security guards so that you can take the scope from their guns. Later on, I'll show you probably the best mission for finding a lot of these scopes, but until you unlock that mission, you can play Protect Site or Protection Assist. Name of the mission depends on the planet you will do these missions. Just keep in mind to choose mercenary missions which involves security guards. Be extra careful not to kill security guards because you are on the same side and uh, you will get a crime stat for that. Number of scopes that you will find in this mission depends on how much security guards get killed. Security guards have carnal rifles equipped with RF1 scopes that we want. Another option is to hack the Comoray and then you can kill both enemies and security guards without getting a crime stat. Ok, here I'm still using my standard Delta Reflex gun sight and as you can see I still have two enemies to kill. Remember, if you play this mission on Arcorp bunkers you need to search for Karner rifles, since security guards on Arcor bunkers use Karner rifles with RF1 reflex scopes. After I killed all the guards, I have found a Karna rifle with my favorite RF1 reflex scope. Now you can just take the gun, choose customize and then remove the scope from the gun. Scope will be automatically added to your personal inventory or backpack. Now before I show you probably the best mission for getting these RF1 scopes, let me tell you about Toby Eye Tracker 5 which is now on discount with 20% off the original price from December 18 until the January 2nd. Toby Eye Tracker has native support in Star Citizen and works really good. I'm using this device for almost 2 years now and I really recommend this to anyone who want to bring up the immersion scale to another level. I need to mention that installation and setup is really simple. You can see how easy it is to look around in your ship cockpit and even control your external camera. If you're thinking about purchasing a Toby Eye Tracker 5, I would be really grateful if you can use my link for that 20% discount price since it will help me and this channel a lot. Thank you. Now let's get back to the game. Ok, I believe this is the best mission for getting RF1 scopes for your guns and you should play it as soon as you unlock level 2 mercenary mission on Microtech. So, for this mission it's best to go to a Microtech, just don't forget to make a restore point in Port Ressler Space Station Medical Clinic just like you did on Arcorp. Don't forget to equip yourself with enough ammo and medpens and I will of course take the Meko LMG which is my favorite gun in Star Citizen. Once you get to the bunker just follow standard procedure, land near to the bunker entrance in case you want to take some armors and weapons after you finish the mission. Get inside of the bunker, check your weapon and reload if needed and prepare for fight. Now as usual I will start killing the enemies. And here is the boss, you will recognize the boss or elite guard by wearing a backpack. I suggest that you take his armor to your ship since it usually have very good guns and loot in his backpack. 
by the way you can see this RF1 scope on my favorite Demeco LMG. I really love to use this scope and uh, I think it looks great on Demeco and FS9 LMG. Now let me explain why is this mission so good for finding RF1 scopes. Well, as you may know, in this mission you need to search dead Microtech security guards because you need to find the data pads that contains security code for unlocking the confidential material boxes which you need to pick up and deliver to a safe place. So here is one of those dead guards and when you loot and search his body, look what else you can find. Yep, an RF1 scope. I will search the rest of the dead security guards and you will see that you can actually find another scope that you may like. See, here is another one. If you are lucky enough, you can scoop up to 10 scopes in one single mission. And one more. Oh, this one has a Delta Reflex scope, probably because it have a different gun. Let's check this one. And here it is, PT2 holographic scope. As I mentioned a few moments ago, you may like this one too. Let's check these two bodies, mm, Delta Reflex. And uh, another PT2, let's take it. So if you like to use two time magnification scopes, then you can take those PT2 scopes since just like RF1, you cannot buy them in any gun store around the world. More dead security guards, nice. Let's check their loot. Okay, nothing here. Let's move on. Another PT2. Let's see this one. Nice. RF1. Okay, so that was all the scopes that I have found in this mission, so there is no need for you to watch the rest of the playthrough. I just want to say that sometimes you will have more or less RF1 scopes when you play this mission. You can see that already I have a bunch of them in my backpack. Now a question for you guys, tell me what is your favorite gun scope in game and why? I personally don't like to use zoom scopes on my regular guns because of that weird zoom sensitivity which is way too high and it seems I can't get it to be the way I like it to be, so I avoid using them except on sniper rifles of course. For me on my regular guns I like standard no magnification clean scopes. To be honest I'm not sure why we can buy this RF1 in gun stores but ok, it is what it is this and uh, that is why I made this tutorial for all of you that uh, you may like this gun scope as I do. Most citizens probably already know how and where to get this scope but as I always say I make my videos mainly to help new players in Star Citizen. So I hope this tutorial is useful to you and if it is consider to like, leave some comments and of course subscribe for more videos like this one. Until the next one stay safe in the worst and as always May the force be with you all.